happy day. I was with a friend just the other day and he was stopped. He was speeding. He got a ticket and the police gave him the ticket. And as a policeman was walking away, he said, thank you. I looked at him. I said, why did you thank him? Are you that excited? I said, thanks is a response, not a responsibility. People with matters do say thank you, but you all got to stop and think about it because maybe you shouldn't say thank you to a guy who just took $200 of your money. Well, it is your fault, but you could have just said, give me the ticket and drive away. Just saying. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney recently said this, members of my caucus are free to vote as they wish on this private member's bill. We'll leave it to the MLAs to make the decision. <laughs> That's supposed to be good news, I guess. I take that the wrong way or my way at least. How dare you? You get to have a free vote today, <laughs> but other times you got to vote like I tell you to vote. And that's true. That is how they swing. That's bad. I mean, the feds do it. Every province does it. I don't think the states do it. They try to. They try to influence their people and to a certain level of degree. I guess they do. But ultimately, you vote your conscience, right, in the U.S. of A. In Canada, if you don't vote like they say, so why do you have an election? Why do you vote for people anyway? Why not just have a premier and a prime minister? Because they're a bunch of dictators. This stuff annoys the bejeebers out of me. You can have a free vote if you wish. <laughs> bah, bah. See, Alberta. Alberta has 87 seats. Still talking about them, members of the Legislative Assembly, MLA. Look at California. It's a mess. I get that. But you know what? There's 40 million people there versus 4 million in Alberta, and they only have 53 congressional seats. And, and there's a thousand other examples that I could go through. In other words, the point is, is, is that in Canada, everybody's overrepresented, and no wonder you're poor. I mean, there's 300 and some odd federal seats in Canada. There should be 150 to 200. I mean, these people don't do anything anyway, do they? All they really do is they do what the leader tells them to do. The leader says, vote this way, and they do. So you, what? You got 300 of those little robots? Why don't you just have 100 robots? Better yet, why don't you have 100 who aren't robots, who stand up, man up, woman up, and be somebody that you're not? Right now, I mean, even with the conservatives today and the liberals, their leaders, the first meeting that they all had, the NDP as well, said, you got to praise us, praise us. Sounds like a Jimmy Jones thing years ago, that religious nutcase, right? I mean, praise us. And don't say anything bad about us. The press will pick it up and telling you how to think if you're an elected representative in Canada. That's not very nice. Marching towards separation, back to Alberta again, WX in Alberta is now applied to become a registered party is pretty strange to me at least that you're going to join the federal government so you can separate from the federal government kind of don't think that's the way it should be right would you please marry me sweetheart so i can divorce you okay must be a better way to do it than that stress has hit an all-time high in capitol hill oh stress we got impeachment thing going on it's after the russian thing I'm still stressed, so oh, you gotta help me. Uh, we have a big budget for that, so what's going on now is the Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council. Did you know there is such a thing as that? I'm here to help. We have therapy dogs and we're gonna bring them to the hill. So they've done that. There's dogs everywhere. The bloody place has gone to the dogs and still nobody works for the people. <laughs> Health and wellness benefits of a human animal. Buh, 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 buh. On and on goes the verbiage. There's a whole bunch of animals there already. They walk around with shoes and everything, they're dumb. And, and now you have this, Brr, it's come to this, okay? Now, lastly for the day, the New York Times. I ain't a fan of the New York Times because they're, you know, they don't give news, they give opinions and, and they're left wing ones at that. But he, recently, the Mexican drug criminals brutally murdered Americans. Six children and three women, nine Americans. Here's what the New York Times said. <laughs> They had this opportunity, I guess, daily to, to do their stuff, their agenda. So they blame religious people, okay? They, they hate religious people anyway. So the Times said this, the attack highlights a long history of religious fundamentalist settlers in the region. Fundamentalist religious communities have a long history in northern Mexico dating back to settlers who practice polygamy. That's important to know. The, uh, it's almost like the victims deserved it, okay? They go on to say uh, they highlighted how successful those in the community, those nine people, how successful they were in the community compared to the poverty that surrounded them. Very, very bad way to report. Just saying, y'all come back here tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.